Hello there. This morning I thought I'd do a quick video on, on tissue tape. Um, I use tissue tape quite often to do little collagey bits in junk journals and on pages and, and sometimes on cards where I just want a, a bit of colour but I don't want to go down the route of um, having Mod Podge and other stuff messing up my project and I find it's really easy and very controllable if you use double-sided tape of whatever thickness you need. With the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper, it's it's a nice weight. It's got a sort of, it feels slightly plasticky on the top and you can see with this one I've given it a, a few goes of some homemade sprays with some glimmer in them and cut them into strips. I apply the tape to the back, cut them into strips as I want them. I store these in a folder. I don't use them that often. And you can see there where I've made a little quick um, collage with a couple of different pieces. The other, this was the other piece where I'd been testing some, some sprays and I did that quite a long time ago and I've don't often need those colours but every now and then I'll put a strip of tape onto that as I did with this and use it in, in a bit of collage. It's sort of instant collage if you like. Um, it doesn't require you to get out the glue pots and the um, decoupage paint, uh, glues and things. It's great down the edge of a page to give it a bit of stability particularly if you want to use a, an edge punch on it. You can see there I've used the little, um, the little, the little stampin' up flower punches. It punches quite well because it's got the stability of the backing paper still on it. Those sorts of things. Um, this was just a scrap of um, sewing pattern that I've been using to collage or, or I think it was actually on a, um, a journal cover and there was just a little scrap left and it was all scrunched up. So I've just applied a little bit of tape to the back of that so you can see. see, And it puts instant texture. If you scrunch it up you also get the creases or you can work at getting it smooth. This little gold piece, um, a heat embossed the text onto it. You often find tissue paper doesn't stamp too well um, because of the texture, particularly the metallic uh, tissues, but you can heat emboss very nicely onto them. To cut these out, and this one, because it's so wide and I didn't have a wider tape, I've just used the inch tape and it's about a half inch or three eighths inch, just to cover that strip of the chickens that I want. Uh, it's very quick and oops I'm not doing a very good job there but you get the idea. Take your time and just trim along the edge of the tape. Use those little pieces in something else. I find this method, I don't know, I'm not that good at collage but if I want a specific colour or a bit of texture or a strip of stamping I find it's quite useful um, and I thought well it's a nice rainy day I've got another big project to start but I thought before I actually get starting on that, I'll put another video up. There it is. This is all the same. I won't do it all, I'll just do a little strip. But often, even on a hideous pattern like this, you can get the a bit of the colour that you want, you know, if you're doing a collage and you need 
um, a specific bit of colour. And of course, the, the neat thing about this is um, it's terrible because you can tear the, the tape. So you don't want straight edges, you just tear it. Apply the tape to the back of the tissue. And depending on the width of the tape that you use, You can always, if you use a white tape, you could always cut the strips off um, as you want them. This little one, I've just done some stamping along the line of tape through the, on the. I've stamped on the top of the tissue with the tape underneath because it gives you a neat little. Um, guide for placement of your stamp. If you want to put a border on a page or on a card, use the colours that tie in with the little project that you're making. You can use, and you can use, use your scraps. I mean these pieces of tissue that I've pulled out this morning were all in my scrap tissue box from other um, collage type projects. So these were just a few scraps that I had. And that looks quite cute. I should have torn that end off because now it's sticky. Never mind. And this little piece of mauve I stamped with a, I think it's a W plus nine stamp that I have. I think it's called, it's an older one. I think it's called Chantilly Lace or Chantilly something. But I use it. It's a wonderful one to emboss with gold or silver for a, you know, silver wedding anniversary or something like that. It's, uh, it's, just, it's a stamp I've used quite a lot. Too well there. I just stamped that in verse. Oh no, this one's not verse. Yes, this one's verse mark. This one was a paper tray ink, on a raw velvet, purpley colour. And that was a larger one. Let me just get the I'll show you how I normally cut it. The Tim Holtz one cuts very well on this. I'll just show you. I just line up the this side so you can see the edge of the tape with the line of the cutter and then gently push the blade along and it just sidles through and trims it off beautifully. I'm not sure if it'll cut this. Just let me try this um, sort of commercial ordinary no. It did a poor job of that. I know it cuts the tip holtz tissue because it's as I say it's got a it feels plasticky to me surface but you're better off with your scissors for most of these bought 
uh, wrapping tissues and serviettes because of their they're very lightweight. I don't know some of the other. I haven't ever tried my other book, um, cutting tools. But I should imagine scissors would be the best way to go for. for cutting most of them. Getting apart is not the, always the easiest, especially when you've torn it. But you can get some lovely effects and it's a good way to use up scraps of tissue. So there we go. You can see that's where I punched that little flower out. It punches well while it's still on the the backing paper and it does make really nice um, collage patterns if you apply it down and you can add shimmer sprays whatever and you end up with this nice translucent instant adherence type thing that's sometimes can be very nice